Hello, I am Sarah from Sarah Betts Art. Today, you saw the title, breaking into my fourth sketchbook. Um, and I am using the Stillman and Burns Zeta series. Um, this is a five and a half by eight and a half inch. Uh, it's a smooth surface, white paper. It's a 270 uh, GSM, so I am really excited. I opened it and felt the paper and Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I really am. And um, this sketchbook, I am actually going to paint on the cover. Um, because it's, it's a nice blue kind of undertone to it. And I want to paint some fish because I really like to paint fish. Um, let me go ahead and get a clip here actually, just to hold the cover down. And instead of, uh, putting the number four on here I thought I could maybe like do four fish or something but I don't know we shall see um but I am going to be using my Windsor and Newton acrylics because they're my favorite paint brand um and I'm only going to be using a uh, cobalt uh blue hue cadmium red hue and Windsor blue as well as white um yeah titanium white um, and I know I want to start out with, I'm running out of this paint and it's upsetting. I need more of it because it's such a pretty blue color. <laughs> it really is. Okay. But I think, ah, I want to just like put blobs so it's like water, you know? Yeah, I don't know why, but like I really like to draw fish and koi fish are gorgeous and anytime I've painted it, it's been like a gift for someone. So I went to paint my own because I really like painting koi fish. Like, I don't know why, but fish are so cool. They're so interesting, <laughs> like to draw. And I also like to fish, um, so fishing is so much fun. It really is, and um, you probably hear my dog sniffling and running off in the background, but like, you know, what you gonna do? Um, I have too many to try and get them to shush it. So I want there to be like the main fish in this corner. So I'm giving it a big blob area and I want to use the darker on the bottom and then I'm going to go over it with the cobalt um blue hue um so yeah I'm just trying to get like a little blob going to like go around the fish and whatnot um but yeah oh so um yesterday I dyed my hair <laughs> um well first I bleached it but it wasn't like hair bleached I use um, hydrogen peroxide and like it still feels like hair and it actually did a lot of lightening I only did two treatments of it though so like but it still lightened like a whole lot um, so if you want to get lighter hair um, yeah I suggest uh, googling how to use hydrogen peroxide and it'll do a lot but yeah I'm kind of like I'm a ginger I'm a borderline ginger now I have like strawberry blonde hair and it's like it's really cute I like it a lot um I'm just gonna do some other water blobs and stuff around it so just not like one big blob I guess um but yeah I dyed my hair so did my brother and I like it No, that's like a perfect shape and size for the fish <laughs> in this corner, so. Let's get some color around it. Yeah, and there's like, I didn't do any like pre-planning to this, but like that is also a way that I like to paint, just like freestyle. Um, and you know, it's a sketchbook, it's, you know, so what it's here for. Now 
Yeah, I could do one big one here and then do two here and then have like a, a small, like two medium one and have like maybe a small one somewhere. I don't know, it could just be cool, koi fish, you know, very pretty. Um, yeah, and my content, I'm, do, I'm taking uh, AP 3D art this year, which I'm a senior, which is crazy because it doesn't even feel like it. It's like I'm just sitting at my desk in like a video conference and it's just like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like my last year of high school, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm a senior, so that's that's fun. But as I was saying, I was I'm taking a 3D or AP 3D art this year, and it is going to, and it's like heavily influenced by um, the uh, the um, aesthetic of wabi sabi, um, not the food. <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't know. I've always been inspired by Japanese culture. Um, and I'm glad I'm finally doing like a series, a, like a portfolio and works based around it. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, and I can't wait to like explore it more, um, cause it'll just be fun. Um, I kind of want to do like random lobs, like bubbles or something. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I'm not too sure if I want to do the first page of the sketchbook in this video. Um, it depends on how long it takes me to do the cover. Um, but, yeah. Also, I hope you like the little setup I have for this uh, video. I don't know. I think it's cool, but I will actually be pouring some paint onto my palette now. Because <laughs> um, I can use, because I have enough to uh, put out, so. I really hate painting in silence, but like it's also a hassle to like pause and talk in a video, like pause what I'm watching or listening to and then talk and then, you know, pause it or play it and stuff. So I'm just going to do this until I get tired of the deafening silence, if I do. Um, okay, got the titanium white and I'm only using like uh, just a sing like one brush because you don't really need too many um so oh it stained it blue I love that okay you know white paint brushes are gorgeous but like in practice they don't make much sense but it also ju it's just like the hair types I guess um so I want to add a lighter blue to add a dimension Ooh, fancy artistic word there um, vocabulary um, you know people are just like you know most people are like uh, I don't know usually like before you like get into art people who use those words when they're talking about their art or other people's art they sound so pretentious but as you start to take art more seriously and do research in it, um, you use those yourself and you realize that it's really just basic knowledge. Uh, well, not basic knowledge, but like, um, I don't know what to, common, not common knowledge, just common practice, I guess you could say. And yeah, I don't know. It's just like, oh, they aren't really like pretentious. <laughs> Um, I 
but it's also like, wait, does that make me a pretentious snob or just smart? <laughs> I don't know, just random thoughts, I guess. Yeah, but like, again, senior year has me hella stressed out, dude. Like, love it. No, I don't. Um, and I don't really know how to deal with that because I don't really have a proper outlet anymore. Um, and I'm not a great test taker, so, and I've been trying to look at merit-based scholarships, and they're just, there aren't a lot of them for artists. Um, because, like, uh, I am a terrible test taker and my grades are not that good as far as, like, the, like math and things like that. And I just, I worry <laughs> about it because I don't think I'll be able to get any scholarship, qualify for any scholarships because of it. And I do study, okay? It doesn't matter if I know the stuff by heart. I just, I really suck at taking tests. I, just, I really do. Hopefully this will like make more sense once I put the koi fish on here. Cause right now it's just kind of like abstract blobs of blue, which is cool. I just hope it makes a little more sense here soon. Um, maybe just like lines around this stuff too could be cool. Um, yeah. I wish I could only take like art <laughs> in my humanities class because those are like my favorite classes. Um, oh, they're just, they're really nice. I should wait for it to dry, but I want to make like a lighter blue um, to just like, you know, go ahead and give it some more color. Um, or like tone and hue variation and stuff to make it more water-like or just add more to the blobs. Um, but I don't want it to be like too distracting. Um, I don't know if I'll really succeed, but we shall see. Hopefully once the, um, fish are on, um, cause they're going to be a little more detailed and, um, I, I don't know the right word to use uh, Yeah, a little more detailed and fleshed out than these, than the water, because that's how I want it, so. I'm going to wait for this to dry out a little, uh, dry, um, before I put on the koi fish and I'm going to take my white pen and I get, I put like highlights in areas with that lighter blue and I'm just going to put like dots on top of them. Um, but I think I like the water, um, and like with the fish on top, I, I'm so excited for fish. I don't know why, but I just, I love drawing fish. Okay. And I know I probably put out way too much white paint. Well, we'll see. I don't know. But, yeah. 
I will see you when this is dry and when um, I start to paint fish. Hopefully like the light glare isn't too bad. So here, there, you can see it a little better like that. Um, but yeah, I will be back once this is dry.
Okay. Um, I'm done. And uh, I like these two fish. This one, a little iffy, but I might go back and do some touching up or whatever. But let me go ahead and take off the clip. And wow, okay, I, yeah, I like this a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna go in and touch that up a little bit later, but yeah, it's not fully dry or anything, but I just wanted to go ahead and wrap up this video. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this, um, and I am super excited to start my fourth sketchbook. Um, if you're starting a sketchbook too, let me know, or if you just really enjoyed watching this and what I did, uh, also let me know. Um, yeah. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. I hope you're having a good day and will continue to do so. Bye-bye now.